hello and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome my name is amu and i'm a software engineer slash content creator grab a seat feel at home you're going to love it here So today we are touching on my experience as a graduate software engineer at Investec and how I got my software engineering job at Investec. But before we get started, I think it will be ideal if I speak about which qualifications I hold just briefly. So I hold a Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology, majoring in Computer Sciences and Informatics from the University of Johannesburg. I did my final year in 2023. So when I applied to the Investec Tech graduate program, I was doing my final year. I did not already have this degree. I was doing my final year and I had a bunch of certificates that I used to do during my spare time. If you want to know which certificates I had, you can ask and I'll let you know in the comment section. But yeah, let's get on to the tea. So in 2023, around May, I saw a job advertisement posted on this website that I used to frequent a lot called Graduate24. If you want a link to this website, I can attach it as well. It's called Graduate24. And I used to frequent this website a lot, looking for bursaries and entry-level jobs, graduate programs, internships, basically anything. So I was there every night. So it's around 12 a.m. and I see this job post. I see the requirements. They required you to be either in your final year of study for an IT related field, information technology, computer science, computer engineering, a field that's close to tech or have graduated not more than two years ago. So in my case, I was doing my final year. So that was fine. I applied standard procedure because I applied for every job. I was applying for everything. So I applied for this job too. And I think one thing that stood out about the application process, I think one thing you would, you would want to know is that there was a part where you had to make a video during the application. Yes. Um, in the application itself. And I made that video. It was in the middle of the night. I literally got up and wore my leather jacket because that was the closest thing I had to formal wear at the time and just made that video and submitted. I don't remember which questions were asked during that video application interview, but I don't think they remain the same every year anyway. So I did that, applied and waited. Around late June, I got emailed that I have been invited to the first round of interviews this was a video interview so it was either via zoom or microsoft teams and it was around july so i got the invitation in june had some time to prepare and the interview was sometime in july early july and it was with one person it was a gentleman and the interview was very nice like i enjoyed that interview very much he asked me tell me about yourself and that's when i just i went in and with the way i have structured my tell us about yourself at least at that time it was so interesting it was very interesting that the questions that followed came from that tell us about yourself so we both enjoyed that conversation to a point that we went over the time that was allocated for the interview that's how how much we enjoyed that conversation and then i waited i was a bit hopeful but not too much because a lot of people applied hey a lot of people apply for that graduate program so i went into the next round i was emailed again i was so excited the next round is called the tech explore invest tech tech explore and in this round you get invited to explore invest tech you see the building you see the people the roles everything it was a two-day event and it was amazing i won't get into too much detail about the tech explore because i think everyone should go in with that curiosity it was amazing i won't spoil it for you 
So it was a two day event. I got invited. It was held on the 13th and 14th of July, either 12th and 13th or 13th and 14th of July, 2023. Hey, Gitsi, I did not even have formal way when I was invited to that Tech Explore event. I had to go buy formal way. I went in with my natural hair as well. I didn't do my hair. My, I had my afro out exactly like this. This hairstyle exactly. So the first day of Tech Explore, I walk into the building. The Invest Tech building in Senten is gorgeous. It's beautiful. But yeah, I went in, met people. Uh, the guys who were also being interviewed were waiting in the lobby. Got to chat to some people, introduced each other, had some coffee as we waited. And then we were taken into the room where the event was held. So like I mentioned, it was a two-day event. And we were booked into a hotel. So we had a place to sleep. Now, first day, we were there enjoying all the speakers people speaking about invest tech speaking about the graduate program different people who've done the graduate program who've been into the graduate program as well as group projects i will not spoil this for you but there was a group project that we were we had to do as the candidates we were grouped into different groups and we're basically in a hackathon of an in a hackathon and we explored Invest Tech, checked out the building, the people, the food. There was gang food. There was gang food to eat that day. Sushi galore. A lot of sushi. And I love sushi. So amazing. Later, we got picked up by a bus, went to the hotel, slept, came back the next day. And it was interview day and presentation day for the project that we were working on so went and did my interview it was held at the restaurant there is a restaurant in the building so the interview was held there it was sort of like a meet and greet with two people a gentleman and a lady very casual ish not too not intense but i was very tense because i was anxious they offered me coffee i said no because i was so intense i always say no though when offered a beverage at an interview they hit me with that tell us about yourself question as an icebreaker and i went on i told them about myself chilled vibes after i'm done with that interview go back to the room where all the candidates were like for the project and we had our presentations then we went home now the waiting i waited and waited eh i was so anxious but yeah, we got the confirmation that I have made it to the final round now. Guys, I call, I'm my rounds. I'm my rounds. <laughs> I'm my rounds. But yeah, I made it to the final round. And in this round, we had a two panel interview. So it was like two interviews, with, which were both panel interviews. And in each panel were five people. So it means 10 people in total. The interviews were a bit like, like back to back was like 30 minutes one and then the other one was like the next 30 minutes and it was online so that was easier i was doing it at the comfort of my dorm room and, and again tell us about yourself i mean of course they've asked me other questions but one question that i remember so well was the tell us about yourself question because they asked it a lot i remember when i did that final interview the panel interview when they said tell us about yourself the first thing i said was by the start of this interview process if i did not know myself right now i do <laughs> like right now i do but yeah i did that and waited waited and waited and by i think late july to early august also they don't they don't waste a lot of time like in terms of getting back to you responding they didn't waste a lot of time because like i said i applied in may um by june i was invited to the first interview july did the first and second interviews and third then by august i had already signed the contract so i think by late july or early august i got the call i had been waiting for and i was on campus when i got that call i, I had just presented 
I think one of the presentations we had for our final year project, it did not go well. And that's, oh, there was a lot going on with that project. But things were not going too well and I did need to pick me up a bit. This now started kicking in that, you see this final year project that was not going well? It has to go well because you have to finish now. And when I did get my offer, it did say that this is based on me finishing my qualification. I mean, it only makes sense. They want to hire you for a permanent job. By the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. The Investor Graduate Program, at least at the time and all the years that I've known it, has been a permanent job. Like you, you're starting off as a graduate for 12 months, but you are permanent from day one. So I was very anxious, but studied really hard. That was, if I needed anything, if I, if I needed anything to push me, that was it. Studied very, very hard. But yeah, got confirmation and signed the offer. This was August. By late August, I had already signed the offer. Now, how did I prepare for the interviews that I had with Investec? So for the first one, which was like a task about yourself, like a meet and greet, I did mostly just looking at YouTube videos on how to conduct yourself in interviews, what to do in a software engineering interview as well. Because it wasn't solely based on your role, what you want to do. It was more like, getting to know you as a person. Second one, which was like, the Tech Explore one was a bit difficult to prepare for. And if I'm being honest, I don't think I would have done anything to prepare me for what was happening in Tech Explore. And I think that is why I won't spoil it for you. It's an experience you need to experience on your own. It's amazing, you're gonna love it. But the interview that I had at the restaurant with the gentleman and the lady, was also like a meet and greet and we went into the technical stuff a bit so we spoke about my tech spec what kind of work i prefer doing is it back end is it front end is it design is it testing just to gauge where they would place me because they've got different roles i think at the time it was four roles they had software engineer a business analyst a tester and a data analyst or engineer something like that so they were gauging where to place all of us right where to place you based on your tech spec as well as your preferences so that happened i prepared the best way i could just researching on the fundamentals understanding your object oriented programming languages particularly c sharp because i was mostly java but investec is very c sharp uh, very c sharp focused so i did my research c sharp and java are very similar so it, was, it wasn't bad and, and i did mention this in the interviews that it won't be a big transition because they're very similar it wasn't i i think i am now a c sharp developer i identify as a c sharp developer well yeah <laughs> so i just prepared like that watched youtube videos searched up on the culture looked up um, the mission and vision the tell us about yourself question can also come in different forms it can be tell us about yourself or it can be why should we choose you so it's the same thing it's the same thing you're selling yourself but yeah the preparation i think because at the time i did not really know how to prepare for interviews like that it wasn't it's not something like I'd say, oh, I did these exciting things or these big things, these big stages that made me like really, really stand out. I think I did what I could with what I was given at the time. But looking back, let's say it was me now with the experience I have, how would I have prepared? I think the same way. <laughs> I think the same way. Now let's talk about the investor culture. They say this a lot in the company relationships are your currency and they mean it one thing that stood out for me about working at investec was the unlimited leave guys ah the leave is unlimited the leave is unlimited and it's it's as it's that it's just that you have to align with your team and everyone else if you have a lot of work i mean you can't be taking leave when you've got work to do unless you're not feeling well also my highlight for that year when i started in january was that i went to london i got to go to london and that was an amazing experience but 
yeah guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video i know you've got a lot of questions post them in the comment section and i will attend to them and that's it from my end have a beautiful day and cheers